Are you wanting to visit Nashville, Tennessee, but don't know what to do while you're here? My name is Andrew Lindsay, and I show travelers how to travel better, improve their travel experience, and live a healthier and happier lifestyle. And today I wanna to share with you 20 activities that you need to check out while you're in Nashville from a local. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button as I put out a new video like this every single week and hit that notifications bell so that way you never miss a video. Now let's jump right into the very first activity and the elephant in the room, and that is Lower Broadway. Lower Broadway is the primary tourist attraction here in Nashville, Tennessee, and I feel like every tourist should at least check it out once while they're here. If you want to enjoy live music as well as some good food, and you want to enjoy maybe the club life, you can do so down on Broadway. On Friday and Saturday nights, you go down there and there are thousands of people as well as lots of DJs and live music and lots to do. And if you want a more laid back experience, you can show up during the day or during the week in the middle of the day and you can enjoy some nice live acoustic music as well as some delicious food. Now, personally, I used to work on Broadway for five years, so I don't personally like Broadway that much, but I do feel like every tourist should check it out at least once while they're here. Now moving on to the second activity that I have on this list is Fifth and Broadway. Now I know I just got done saying that Broadway is not really my favorite thing and it's not really for me. However, Fifth and Broadway is my favorite part about Lower Broadway. Fifth and Broadway has an amazing shopping and dining experience and it's just a really cool spot to hang out near Lower Broadway. And it also has some of my favorite restaurants like Slim and Huskies, Hattie B's, and Taya Sane. And if you want to know some of my favorite restaurants from a local, I did a video on that as well. And I will put a little button somewhere here in the video for you to check that out. So if you're going to Lower Broadway, be sure to check out Fifth and Broadway while you're down there. The third activity that I have on my list, we are going to be staying in the Lower Broadway area, and that is the Johnny Cash Museum. You can check this out off of Third Avenue, right off of Broadway. And if you are a fan of Johnny Cash, you are definitely going to want to check this place out. The Johnny Cash Museum is ranked the number one music museum in the world by Forbes and has one of the largest collection of Johnny Cash artifacts in all of existence. Here you can find a collection of Johnny Cash's costumes, lyrics, all of his records, and so much more. So if you are a huge fan of Johnny Cash, do not leave this place off of your list. Now, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, I wanted to bring your attention to my free resource, The Ultimate Budget Travel Guide. I created this free resource so that way you would have a bunch of dream vacation destinations as well as all the resources that you needed all at your fingertips to plan your entire trip so you could save time, save money, and start making memories ASAP. And this is an ever-growing resource, so every time I upgrade it, you are going to be sent an email letting you know that I have updated it so you can get the updated version. And if you want to pick that up, you can do so by clicking the link in the description of this video. Now let's move on to the next activity. Number three on this list is the Ryman Auto. Auditorium. Now, the Ryman Auditorium is famous for being one of the best sounding venues in all of Nashville, and I can definitely attest to this. I've seen some of my favorite bands here, like Evanescence and Breaking Benjamin, and it sounded absolutely incredible. This is also where bluegrass was born and where country music became a relevant genre. The Ryman is more than an average venue, and you will know this from the moment you walk in. So be sure to check out the Ryman while you're in Nashville. Next on this list, we have the Pedestrian Bridge. Now, I have walked this bridge literally hundreds if not thousands of times at this point and I am still not tired of it. You get an incredible view of the Cumberland as well as the downtown portion of Nashville and when you're walking this bridge just know that you are walking in a place where hundreds of music videos have been shot. And the best part about this bridge is that it is completely free. So definitely check this out while you are in Nashville. Next on this list, we have the Country Music Hall of Fame. This place houses over 2.5 million artifacts from music history, as well as two floors and galleries to take it all in. This is also the place where you can find the historic RCA Studio B. And while you're there, it offers dining and retail stores, so be sure to pick yourself up a souvenir. Now, I'm not totally sure, but I think that the Music Hall of Fame is included on the Nashville sightseeing pass and if it is, then this will help you save some money because there is an entrance fee to get into the Music Hall of Fame. So be sure to check that out and I will actually leave a link to the sightseeing pass in the description of this video. Next on this list, we have sports. Now, if sports is your thing, this is definitely the right place to be. If football is your thing, we have the Nashville Titans and you can enjoy a game at our amazing Nissan Stadium. 
And if hockey is your thing, we have the Nashville Predators and you can enjoy a game at the Bridgestone Arena. But be warned, if you come during either one of these events, then you will be dealing with a bunch of traffic and a bunch of pedestrians. So just a fair warning if you choose to come for one of these games. Next on our list, and you knew it was gonna be on here, is hot chicken. Now, Nashville is famous for its hot chicken and some of the best places to get Nashville hot chicken is Hattie B's, Bolton's, and Prince's hot chicken. However, just know that not all hot chicken is made the same. Every single local has their favorite, but I think that most people consider Prince's to be the original hot chicken. However, in my opinion, I consider the true hot chicken to be anything that's made with spices as opposed to being made with sauces. I don't consider any hot chicken that's made with sauce to be true hot chicken, in my personal opinion. But again, every local has their own opinion. And I will say that Bolton's is a great place to get Nashville hot chicken if you really, really want it hot. I don't think most people consider Hattie B's to be the original hot chicken, but it's definitely a very popular place to get hot chicken, and it's really, really good. So you can't go wrong with Hattie B's, but I highly recommend Bolton's or maybe Prince's if you want the real deal. Next on this list, we've got the Nashville Zoo. At the Nashville Zoo, you can see animals from all around the world and have the absolute best outdoor experience within the bounds of Nashville. You can find giraffes, white noceros, spider monkeys, and so many more animals at the Nashville Zoo, and it is totally worth going and checking this place out so you can have an incredible zoo experience. You can also listen to some keeper talks while you're here on a variety of different topics related to the animals and go on some different tours, which is just a blast for the entire family. So be sure to check out the zoo if you want an incredible family fun, family friendly experience. Next on this list, we've got the Arrington Vineyards. For award-winning wines and beautiful sunsets, check out the Arrington Vineyards. This place was found by Kix Brooks and can be found 25 minutes south of Nashville. If wine and outdoor activities are your thing, do not pass this place up when visiting the awesome city of Nashville. Next on this list, we have the Gulch. The Gulch is a really nice place for locals to hang out in Nashville, but it's also a really cool place for tourists. The Gulch is about a 20 minute or so walk away from Lower Broadway and provides some amazing restaurants, a lot of activities, and just a really cool laid back experience as opposed to the chaos of Lower Broadway. So if you wanna to come to the Gulch and just experience a little bit more of a local style experience, definitely go check out the Gulch. Next on this list, we've got the Hat Show Print. This is one of the oldest letterpress shops in America and has been in business since 1879. Hat Show created art for Elvis Presley, Grand Ole Opry stars, and a variety of contemporary artists. Here you can watch printmaking in person as well as take a tour, and you can also shop and pick yourself up a souvenir to take home for your trip. Next we have on this list is the Parthenon. Now the Parthenon is the only perfect replica of the Greece Parthenon in the entire world and can be found in Centennial Park in Nashville. Now it's easy to feel a little awestruck when you approach this building because it is huge and just gives you an idea of how big the actual Greece Parthenon really is. Inside the Parthenon you can find a 42 foot statue of Athena, American paintings of the Cohen collection, and many more awesome tourist attractions. Sometimes I go here just to relax and sit outside of the building and just enjoy the peace and the quiet at the park, but this is definitely a place that I highly recommend that you check out while you're here in Nashville. Next on my list, I have the Frist Art Museum. If you love art museums, this is definitely the place for you. The Frist Art Museum is a world-class museum that can be found in downtown Nashville. The museum features 30 art creation stations, educational programs, and gift shops surrounded by beautiful art and architecture. If art is your thing, you do not want to pass this place up while you are on your trip. Next on this list, we have the Nashville Lakes. Now Nashville has two primary lakes, Percy Priest Lake and Old Hickory Lake. If you wanna get out into nature and enjoy a great day in Nashville, definitely be sure to check out one of these two lakes. Percy Priest is the one that's closer to Nashville, located in Hermitage, Tennessee, but Old Hickory, in my opinion, is the better lake and it's located in Hendersonville, Tennessee. These lakes are of course nothing like the lakes that I've seen in Oregon, but if you want to enjoy a day at the lake, definitely go pay one of these two lakes a visit. Next on this list, we have the Nashville Shores Water Park. Found on a 385 acre family recreation on Percy Priest Lake, Nashville Shores is a great spot to go camping, stay in a cabin, go zip lining, rent a platoon boat, and of course, enjoy a great water park. Nashville Shores has a giant wave pool, the wildest lazy river in Tennessee, a water tree house, 
lots of water slides, a pool, a beach, and so much more. And of course, if you don't wanna swim, you can do lake cruises, volleyball, and so much more. This place is definitely a good one-stop shop to have an absolutely amazing outdoor experience in Nashville, Tennessee. Next on our list, we have the Sound Waves Water Park. Sticking on the subject of water parks, let's take a look at the Sound Waves Water Park in Nashville. This is an upscale indoor and outdoor water park that can be found within the Gaylord Opryland Resort. Sound Waves features rides, wave pools, amenities, music, and an overall oasis for its visitors. On top of that, indoors it is kept 84 degrees year round so you won't be cold. You can even sunbathe indoors. Definitely go check out this place if you want to have an upscale water park experience while you're in Nashville. Next on this list, we've got Pinewood Social. Pinewood Social is a unique local hangout that offers dining, drinking, and bowling all in one place. I went here one time with a few friends and it was really cool. I had actually never been there before and I was like, this is crazy. There's a bowling alley in the back of this bar and like this dining area, but it was just a super good time. It was a lot of fun. It has really good vibes. And on top of that, it's within walking distance of Lower Broadway. So definitely check this place out while you're in Nashville, especially if you want to take a break from Lower Broadway. Next on this list, we have Bicentennial Mall. If you want to experience a little piece of Tennessee history, go check out Bicentennial Mall State Park. The park consists of 11 acres and acts as a monument to Tennessee Bicentennial Celebration. Here you can find a 200-foot granite map of the Stair, a World War II memorial, a Bell Carolyn, a pathway of history, and the rivers of Tennessee fountains. This is definitely a great place to take in some of Tennessee's interesting history. Next on this list, we've got the Nashville Farmer's Market. Once you get done checking out the Bicentennial Mall, head on over to Nashville's Farmer Market, which has a wide variety of cuisine and shops. This place is open year round and is a really cool place to visit if you wanna try out some unique restaurants. However, do not come here and be fooled like me. I came here thinking that there was gonna be a bunch of farmers selling produce and I was definitely wrong. The name is misleading, so don't come here expecting to find a bunch of farmers selling produce, but definitely come here expecting to find some unique food and a cool little hangout spot in Nashville. Next on this list, I have got the Jack Daniels Distillery. If you're a fan of whiskey, you're going to want to check this place out. They offer daily tours of the distillery and offer tasting of whiskey from barrels, which was originally only reserved for distillers and tasters. You'll also have an opportunity to get a behind the scenes look at how they make their famous whiskey. If you like whiskey and want to indulge in the history of Jack Daniels, this place is definitely for you. Staying on the subject of alcohol, let's talk about Bellmead. Bellmead is located seven miles west of downtown Nashville and was one of the largest and wealthiest private estates in Nashville in the 1800s. This place has hosted celebrities, presidents, and generals and became Nashville's first attraction. Bellmead offers tours, food, and wine pairings, bourbon tasting, Segway tours, Nashville's first winery, an on-site restaurant, gift shops, an outdoor games court, and some beautiful scenery. If you just wanna have a good, laid back, fun time, go check out Bell Mead while you're in Nashville. Next place we got on our list is the Cheekwood Estates. Cheekwood Estates is a 55 acre estate that was built by the Maxwell House Coffee Fortune and offers some real value to visitors. The estates have a botanical garden that displays an abundance of color and horticulture diversity with its 11 gardens and beautiful nature. The Museum of Art can also be found here and has paintings, sculptures, and other decorative art. There are four festivals that are held here throughout the year providing families with plenty to do when they visit. And if you want to visit during Christmas, just know that this is the place you should spend your time. During Christmas, there will be trains, Santa, real life reindeer, and lots of holiday lights, plus so much more for the family to enjoy. Moving on to the next activity we have on this list, we have the Radnor Lake State Park. With over six plus miles of trails and 1,300 acres in size, this park has a lot to offer. There's an abundance of wildlife viewing opportunities here, as well as hiking opportunities and environmental education programs. This park is perfect if you are a nature enthusiast and want to observe wildlife like owls, waterfowl, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. There's also an abundance of wildlife here for those of you that are interested in plants. The park even offers ranger-led programs throughout the year like canoe floats, wildflower parks, astronomy night hikes, nature hikes, and more. If you want a nature experience, go check out the Radnor Lake State Park. And the last activity we have on this list is the Grand Ole Opry. The Grand Ole Opry is a huge venue that provides a live performance showcase of country music artists, superstars, and rising stars every week in Nashville. Here fans can have an up close experience with their favorite artists on one of the most famous stages in country music. Aspiring stars dream of playing the stage and for many of them, this is where their dream comes true. At this point, the Grand Ole Opry is considered a cultural landmark and is an experience that every music fan should enjoy at least once in their life. 
So that was my 20 activities that you need to do when you're visiting Nashville. And real quick, I have some other videos on what you shouldn't do in Nashville and things you need to know while you're in Nashville. So if you wanna go check those out, again, I will leave a button somewhere here in the video for you to click and check that out. And before this video comes to an end, I wanted to mention my ultimate budget travel guide one more time. I created this free resource so that way you would have access to a bunch of dream destinations as well as all the resources that you needed in one place so that way you could plan your entire trip, save time, save money, and start making memories ASAP. And if you wanna pick that up, you can do so by clicking the link in the description of this video. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and leave me a comment letting me know which one of these activities you're the most excited to try out in Nashville and share this video with a friend who might be coming to check out Nashville because it'll help them out a lot. And I will see you guys next week. Peace out.